Hi guys! Lotta from Crocoblock is here. Do you want to display only the upcoming events in the list in grid? Or you are struggling to output the both created in the certain period of time? If the answer is yes, then you are in the right place. Let's go right into it. But first, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss our tips and tutorials. In the first case, we need to display only the upcoming events. We will use our job board template to output the most recent vacancies. Guys, make sure to watch this video till the end if you want to know how to display the past events as well. To query the list and grid, we are going to use the query builder functionality from Jet Engine plugin. As far as you may know, Query Builder is a flexible tool that helps you create tons of conditions for different kinds of listings. If you need more detailed information, click this link. At first, we need to go to Jet Engine, Post Types. Now, open the CPT. You need to make sure that the date field is saved as a timestamp. Now we proceed to Jet Engine, Query Builder, Add New, write the name of your query, Query Type is a Post Query, since we query CPTs, choose the Post Type, in my case it's Jobs, Vacancies, and then go to Meta Query. We add new one. Here we go with a macro jet engine meta field. We need to set here the date field with a deadline for applying for the certain vacancy. Return as a field name key ID. Compare operator is greater than. We compare the date in the field to today's date. That's why we need to set here macro today. We use a macro instead of writing the current date to make it work dynamically. Type should be numeric. You may wonder why we don't use the date. That's because we save the date as a timestamp. Remember? Unix timestamp or PHP timestamp is the total number of seconds since 1970, the 1st of January UTC. Let's have a look at this field in the database. The meta value is the Unix timestamp. And please pay attention that you need to set the number of posts per page in the pagination tab. Because this option in the listing will be simply ignored when you are using a custom query. Then we proceed to the page with the listing grid in Elementor. Here we have all the jobs slash events. But we want to output only the upcoming events. That's why we need to apply the query we've just created in the Custom Query tab. Let's check it on the front end. Here we are. We see all the posts now. This is list and grid without any queries. These two posts are not the upcoming ones for sure. Let's update the page and have a look to what we've got after the query has been applied. I've added the date so we could make sure that we see only the upcoming events. And we really do! Ok, the upcoming events are here for us. And what we do if we still have hard times displaying the past events? Yes, you guessed it. We need to create another query. There we go again. Jet Engine Query Builder. I'd call it Previous Month Events. It's a post query as well. I activate Preview Results option at once. It's helpful since you can see how many posts with the current conditions you have. Additionally, you can check if the settings you add are correct. Don't forget to set the post type name. And this time we need to set the date query, as we want to display the posts created in the previous month 
we need to set the limits. Let's see. Today we have the 15th of March. So I can set here year 2023, month February, day is the 1st. But wait, we will see the post created only in February. We don't want to change it manually every month, right? That's why we need to make it work dynamically. What can we do in this case? In the field after, we write first day of previous month midnight. And in the field before, first day of this month midnight. You can find the link to the PHP manual in the description, where you can read more about date formats. Then you can tick the option inclusive. It will help you if you ever happen to create the post exactly at midnight on the first day of the month. Doesn't happen so often, but still. In column we set post date. Here you can see that I have only three posts created in the previous month. We need to go to the page with the post in Elementor and apply the query. And now we need to check it on the page. Here they are. Let us know if the video was useful. Don't forget to subscribe and share your feedback in the comments below. Cheers!